He was the rock of our family. There wasn't a thing that that man wouldn't do. He loved each and every one of his grandchildren. Four months after the death of her father, Charles, Stephanie Smith is still stunned by the fact he's gone and how he died. You could understand if it was a heart attack or this or that, but a little bug took his life. This little bug destroyed our lives, really. That little bug, an infected deer tick that bit Charles near their family home in Saratoga County, New York. It was a purple spot on his arm, probably the size of a half dollar. So it wasn't like your typical like red rash. His was like a purpley color, very sore. Doctors didn't know what to make of it. They ran every test known to mankind, came back, everything came back negative right down to the actual modern day Lyme testing that we have, came back negative. That's because state authorities eventually realized Charles had been infected with another tick-borne disease called Powassan. Two other people in the area were also infected. This is the first time that Powassan has been found in ticks in Saratoga County. Powassan is very rare. Dr. Gary Wormser is chief of infectious diseases at New York Medical College and one of the state's top experts on tick-borne diseases. He says Powassan is among the threats that are creeping up. In Westchester in the lower Hudson Valley of New York, we have five different deer tick transmitted infections. In addition to Lyme, he's alarmed by Powassan, Ehrlichiosis, Borrelia miyamotoi, and Babesiosis. By far the most important one in our area is Babesiosis, which is also flown under the radar. Most of the general public doesn't know about it, and it can kill you. Symptoms can be similar to Lyme disease, but there's a chilling twist with Babesiosis. 25% of adults have no symptoms with Babesiosis, and in fact, they pose a risk to the blood supply because if they donate blood, they may still transmit babesiosis to a blood recipient. In Connecticut, a different infection called Bartonella worries Lyme disease doctor Stephen Phillips. Bartonella gets confused with, with Lyme so frequently, the symptoms overlap like 90%. And Bartonella is a disease that is completely ignored by the medical community. The Centers for Disease Control says there's no convincing evidence ticks can transmit Bartonella to humans. Phillips, a leader in treating chronic Lyme, is not surprised. Bartonella is kind of where Lyme was 30 years ago. The research for, for Bartonella is pretty much non-existent. Health officials acknowledge the fear and confusion is compounded by this reality. For tick-borne agents other than Lyme disease, there are very few FDA-approved methods. More research, everyone agrees, is critical. And Dr. Phillips has another suggestion. They teach us in med school that 90% of the, you know, the important data that we get from our patients is just by listening to them. It's not from the blood tests, it's not from the physicals, and somehow doctors have forgotten that. Back in Saratoga County, Stephanie Smith hopes someone is listening to her, paying attention to this. The thing I miss the most is just being able to talk to them. Tom, I love you. Her father Charles spent nearly a month in the hospital after that tick bite, but as his body failed, doctors couldn't save him. We cannot bring him back, but you know what? Maybe we can help somebody else. Maybe out there there's an ear. Somebody will listen to us. So somebody else doesn't have to go through the hurt and the pain that our family's gone through.